Okay, guys, I'm back. What you need, like I said, is this Mallory Western and Leather Supply lint hat for cleaning cowboy hats. I need to get you some three times, two times, or whatever times treble hooks. They don't have to be red. I chose red because that was what was on sale that week, actually. But here's the funny thing is I've done recorded this video once and uh, I forgot to push record. But anyway, we'll go on doing this. When you open that sponge up, you'll get two of them. All right? You'll have two. When you open that sponge up, you will get two sponges. Okay? And when you get that sponge, just cut it in half. Easy peasy. I like to cut it in half first. And then cut it in half again. I'm sure you can find an easier way. I've got a knife over there, but it kind of flattens it and you can't really tell how you're cutting so I've just found that this works for me and I'm not much on using prepared baits and all that but I have found that it's easier for the kids to use these and then man these, these sponge hooks you get at like Walmart they are so darn expensive I mean expensive and <laughs> three or four dollars for a two pack three pack so you know my kids aren't much sitting on the bank waiting on a bite I've got a refrigerator full of skipjack a well, freezer full of skipjack and all that bluegills you name it I've got it for bait and this you know Luke's always said catsandcarp.com love the channel mind you so just got to be a better way than using these prepared baits well you know we have tried liver we have tried night crawlers we have tried skipjack yeah, caught bluegill there and tried to eat them tried to hook them with that they am telling you if you get some good action to catch you know one to five pound channel cats at these lakes this works and so to make this hook let me go ahead and trim this one off but anyway probably should have showed you that first let's see look at that i made a whole pile of them without even recording but anyway you're going to get that that sponge out here get your hook take it and punch it right through there i had gotten this idea from chad the man ferguson off of you know catfish edge that's a great youtube channel as well i, I am a whisker seeker fanatic i love the rods the really heavy spinning tackle but you stick that on there punch it through there and go around the edges to just get the you know, get them pretty much even with the, with the hook with the top of the shank, shank you'll be fine you know you can put them a lot closer together than what I've got going on here but I just choose to do it this way so you know I hope this helps you guys it's an easy easy I mean you can make them really small too I want to get some dip bait out in a second to show you how these work, show you how good they work actually because you know you don't need a lot of dip bait as Team Catfish, you know, I, for someone that says they don't use a lot of manufactured baits, I've watched enough video on them to know that you don't need much on there to get it to work, you know, Team Catfish is notorious for saying that, but I've tried their, their way of doing it and I tried this way of doing it and I have totally totally believe in this way i know that you have to order if you work but i promise you that you will if you're a manufactured bait guy this is going to be your hook i promise you that this will be your hook I mean, you just plain and simple just grab that bad boy shove it down in there poke it through there and you are in it and then just trim it okay so that's all you got to do is trim it you know uncover the sh points a little bit just trim down to the top of it. you got to totally uncover it because they sponge is going to give when he closes his mouth anyway and then there you are guys perfect hook you know i can link this in the description but i'll be honest with you one hook one one hook this here is one sponge okay cut in half cut in half this is one sponge out of one whole sponge i got 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hooks. You know, so you tell me if that ain't, you know, and I've got another set to go. And my kids will use these. It takes them a long time to go through this many. They have one on a spinning reel right now that I bet you has hooked 30 channel cats, at least 30 channel cats. And now I'm just wasting sponge by putting that one in there the way I did. But I don't know why I did that. But, I mean, they catch the tar out of channel cats with these. And it, it's very cost effective than going to the store and buying them daggone expensive dip tubes dip this dip that it stays on <laughs> I've never seen a sponge quite this good and I mean I for the longest time I thought it I was like hey, ain't no the web page I'm going to bring up soon or anything on this channel that I don't find to be either a good shortcut for us fishermen on a budget or look at that you know or something that's worth giving out you know look at that could use that piece <laughs> or something that's worth the money you're putting into it i mean i know that you get what you pay for and you know i have a real problem right now with buying shimano bait runners the b series and they don't make those anymore but i will tell you this they last and i love them <laughs> i know that that don't mean much but that's my cup of tea to it I've got all the aboos you can think of, all the round reels you can think of. I still use them on occasions, but I have been into actually using sh spinning reels lately. I fell and tore a ligament in my lip, and it's honestly just now getting fit, getting better. That that bump I've got, you can't really see it, but it was huge. It was like, whoop. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I know that this isn't the best video. But I just want you to know that using Mallory Professional Hat Cleaning Brick Sponge and any type of treble hook, whether it's, you know, it has to be size 6. It don't have to be 6 or 8, preferably. Anything too big, they just won't mess with, you know. But size 6, and, and these sponges, man, is the best dip bait hook I have ever seen. I'll show you the rig I make for it here in a little while. I'm going to get up now and make that for you. A rig that I use to make to do this with. So I uh, will see you shortly. Okay guys, to make a simple rig to use with this hook. With this ult the ultimate dip bait treble hook. This is the rig that I use. I just grab me a, you know, a little old barber stop. Put a sticker on there, take it off, get it as tight as you can get it, but you know, you know, tight enough to where it ain't gonna move through them eyes. It's ain't gonna move when it hits the eyes, how's that? But you're gonna be flipping it, pitching it, all that, so I wouldn't really worry about it. But when you trim these off, what I like to do is I like to leave a little extra, because I will admit I fish with a bobber quite often. I love using these these types of bobbers that use a bobber stop. Man, you can set the depth. When they ain't fishing on the bottom, then what do you do? You got to find where they're feeding at. But I like to leave a little bit of sticking out so that bobber can hit it. You know what I mean? But uh, you get that on there, pull it out a little bit, grab your just plain old little float. Thread it in there, you know, it's some days it's easy, some days it's just hard as I'll get out but <laughs> to get it in there. But today it wasn't too bad. But you wanna stick it in there. I mean this is just a little old simple rig to do this with. I like to use the polymer knot on just about anything unless I'm snelling a catfish hook, you know, which is basically my circle hooks. <laughs> But anyway, so you're going to put this on there. Put your treble hook through there, grab the top of it, pull her down, cinch it down. And I like to just do that just a little bit there now, not too much. But it's on there good and tight. Trim that off. Now, 
here's what I do with the sinker. I go up three or four inches, and I just take that sinker and clip it on there with my hands. Because you know, you never know. You might, because you're going. I fish this rig about, you know, depending on where you're at. But where I'm at, you're going to have to fish it six, seven foot deep. But you know, there's a lot of junk in there. But there is your rig. You got your bobber, your bobber stop, and your hook, and your hook right there. So that's basically it. To be honest with you, and I've caught a many, many a fish on this. I thank you again for tuning in to Cat Daddy Fishing. And uh, cell phone just went off for no reason. But, uh, okay, guys, real quick, my camera is about to die. But here we go. We got Hook. We got Hook. We got Sunnies. And we're going to just take it down in there and dip it. I ain't stirred it or nothing. But uh, stick it on there, paddle it on there is all I can tell you to do. You want to grab that line out, stick it paddle over it and look at that guys look at that nice glob of bait on there i mean seriously look at that that little sponge puts that much bait out there that's all i wanted to show you about that i'm not promoting sunnies as any type of killer bait but it works i'll do a review on it one day against secret seven and show you how it works here in kentucky at the lakes that i use and until then Catch you on the other side. Tight lines, everybody. Remember, like and subscribe. And hit that bell if you want to know, hear anything else from me. Talk at you later. Cat. I really hope you enjoy this. I really, really, really do. If you have any questions, please ask them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Way better stuff coming, guys. But I just wanted to get a video up. To at least make it look like I'm trying to do something. So. Been real busy around here. But just remember, the, you can make lots of these hooks that are, work great on these baits. And I'm going to grab a tub of this stuff and show you how good it does work. Be right back.